So the number one question I get asked is what's going on with the real estate market? Hey Joel, what do you think is going to happen with the real estate market? I mean, these, these prices are absolutely crazy and it's a feeding frenzy trying to pursue a home right now. So the number one question I get right now from buyers is, oh, buyers and sellers is, what's going on with the real estate market? Is it going to continue to stay this competitive? Are we in a bubble? Are we going to crash? And if we do crash, you know, when is that going to be? Is it going to be in six months? Is it going to be in a year? Is it going to be in three years? What's going on right now? Because the way the market's flowing, it's this is unsustainable. To answer the question, with everything I say, take it with a grain of salt because if the main economic professors and researchers couldn't figure out that we were going to crash in 2008, it's very hard to listen to some of the advice of these people nowadays. <laughs> you know what I mean? So so take with the, what I say with a grain of salt. I do my absolute best to, to read blogs, listen to, to different podcasts, um, and pretty much watch as much as I possibly can on the subject. However, these are all opinions and we just don't know what's actually going to happen. But this is what I believe is going to happen. So you could take it for what it is. So. Because of the pandemic, the world, the economics of the US were essentially put on hold. And in order to stimulate the economy and get things rolling again, the US government had to pump trillions and trillions of dollars into the US economy, which, which allowed us to stay, keep our head above water, right? And so that money getting pumped into the system then was padding people's bank accounts for the people that didn't necessarily 100% need that money and they now they use that money to then buy houses and and keep interest rates low which again increases the competitive nature of the real estate market so now you have all these buyers that are entering into the market and with with all those buyers entering into the market you also have a lot of people that wouldn't have naturally entered into the market because they were fine living in an apartment and these are a lot of millennials that i'm talking about they like living in city centers but now those are all closed all the benefits and features of living in a city center essentially disappeared when COVID hit. And now they're thinking to themselves, self, why don't we get a house with a yard, two bedrooms, three bathrooms, and everyone had the same idea at the same time, <laughs> right? So you get this flood of buyers into the market. Interest rates are low, which is still encouraging them to even get into the market more, um, which is all beneficial for, for uh, the economics of you know the housing market because we want the, the US government needs to see homes being sold and purchased uh, to keep the, the economy up and running and just flowing like it should be. Now, this huge flood of inventory into the market and then the people that obviously are selling, uh, you, had, you had a bunch of people that didn't necessarily um, wanna sell during this time because they didn't want random people going through their house when, with COVID going on. So, in influx of buyers entering the market, uh, sellers drop somewhat it's not as low as inventory as everyone's making out to see it's just so many buyers are entering into the market that's what's causing this this lack of inventory for the amount of buyers we have so we are we hit the pandemic and now trillions and trillions of dollars are pumped into the economy that money is being used to buy property um, and do other things feel, make the economy feel like we're we're in a financially good position and What's happened is that a lot of that money was necessary to, so that the U.S. didn't go under, right? And we didn't have these, this huge crash. And so they just kept on pumping money, pumping money, pumping money. But now everyone's seeing the light at the end of the tunnel, right? Everyone, it just feels different. I'm not sure if you feel the same. I just feel like it feels different when you're walking down the street. Everyone is starting to open up a little bit more as the vaccines go out and as we get an idea of how to control this disease to a certain level, obviously. Um, people are going out and they're having, it's starting to turn into a normal economy, right? It's starting to turn into now an open market versus this constrained, restricted market that has been with COVID. So trillions of dollars pumped into the US economy. The market was constricted. Now the market's opening up and that money is still circulating within the US economy, right? And so what's gonna happen is 
I believe that that money is gonna now just exponentially cause more demand in the housing market, right? Because now there's no restrictions. There's no, there's no, there's nothing holding us back. We're gonna be an open market again. And that money's still in there, which is gonna cause the demand to continue to rise on homes. So it's gonna last throughout this year and potentially into the next few years, the economy is gonna to continue to stay where it is. So that's something to take into consideration. And again, a lot of things can, can change and you know what I just said, but that is the basis of what I'm hearing out there. Now, the only thing we don't know about is how the government's going to treat forbearances, right? If you don't know what forbearances are, it's if you were unable to pay a mortgage, uh, the US government allowed you to not pay the mortgage during the COVID time. So it's like a re it was a relief bill, right? You didn't have to pay your mortgage, especially if you, if you, you know, if you were, let's just say a cook or you worked in a restaurant, you're not getting paid. So how are you supposed to pay the mortgage, right? So they allowed you not to pay mortgage during this period. So as things open back up and COVID, we get a hold of COVID, I believe that those payments are going to be stacked onto the back of the 30 year mortgage. And if that happens, we're going to continue riding high, right? Nothing's going to change in what the situation is in the housing market right now. However, if for whatever reason, the government says, hey, you know what? You, you didn't pay for people are, that are in forbearance. You didn't pay the last three or four months. Those, all those payments are going to be due, you know, as soon as the economy opens back up or, you know, due within the next two year, or maybe there's a three year, four year, five year payment uh, cycle that they do for the people that weren't paying their mortgage. But I think most likely they're just going to stack it onto the back of the mortgage. If not, you would be talking about millions of more homes hitting the market and then causing inventory to, to increase dramatically, causing obviously demand would still be there. So you really level, level out if that happened. But the, the US economy doesn't want to see a bunch of people lose their home, especially what they experienced in 2008. They have a better grasp of how to control the situation of what they experienced the first time around. Now, again, these are all predictions. If the government decides to do something else, it can completely crash the market. But the way that our government works, we just keep on kicking the can down the road further and further and further. Eventually, that the, the can't, we can't kick it any further and the economy will, I believe, is going to crash. Um, the stock market, real estate market, just we're just so we're there's so much money in the economy right now, and it just I feel like it's artificially placed. So that's my personal opinion, but again, that's not going to be down down the road, I believe. So if you have questions about it, if you want um, resources, stuff that I've been reading, stuff that I've been seeing, please let me know. I can. Um, I can share that information with you uh, just so you can take a look at it yourself and make your own prediction on what's going to happen in the real estate market. But overall, please, please don't forget, we at the Camacho Group, you know, and you guys know, you guys know us, you know, you have my beautiful wife, Autumn, uh, you got my, my pops, dad, and then our back end team. If you're looking to buy or sell real estate or just honestly, if you're just trying to get a, a grasp on what's going on in the housing market please reach out to us. We'd love to be able to sit down with you, listen to what you're thinking, um, what your goals are, and then put a plan together that makes sense for you uh, to either buy, sell, invest, whatever it may be. Um, feel free to call us or email us. We'll talk with you soon.